fight for you and your families every single day as hard as I know how. President Obama speaking directly to Northeast Wisconsin this morning in his first campaign stop following Superstorm Sandy. And after all we've been through together, we sure as heck can't give up now. He reflected back on the past four years and asked local residents for help winning four more. The president's personal message in Ashwaubenon, topping Fox 11 News at 5. Good evening, everyone. The president stepping off Air Force One at Austin Straubel Airport about 1030 this morning. That's right, there he is, and it was the start of a busy day for him. He went on to address the 2,000-plus supporters who were waiting for him there. Now, he spoke to the crowd of what he called positive changes for the country. The president also took time to criticize his opponent. Fox 11's Laura Smith was there and has more for us. President Barack Obama was back on the campaign trail Thursday, flying into Austin Straubel International Airport and rallying supporters on the tarmac. On the heels of Superstorm Sandy, the president told the crowd party lines melt away when the country needs to band together. When disaster strikes, we see America at its best. One country. All the petty differences that consume us in normal times all seem to melt away. There are no Democrats or Republicans during a storm. They're just fellow Americans. Obama went on to attack opponent Mitt Romney, saying the Republican presidential nominee is not the candidate of change he portrays himself to be. What the governor's offering sure ain't change. <laughs> Giving more power back to the biggest banks isn't change. Leaving millions without health insurance isn't change. Another $5 trillion tax cut that favors the wealthy isn't change. The president asked supporters for four more years to complete the changes he's been trying to make since his election in 2008. He said his administration has met many of his goals but hasn't finished the job. Now's the time to keep pushing forward, to educate all our kids and train all our workers, to create new jobs and rebuild our infrastructure, to discover new sources of energy, to broaden opportunity, to grow our middle class to restore our democracy. Voters we spoke with said the clear choice is to keep Obama in office. We need him desperately for four more years. He's just, uh, he's just the greatest, the greatest. He will do so much for our country. After a stop here in the Green Bay Area, President Obama had other stops scheduled in Nevada and Colorado as he makes his final push ahead of Tuesday's election. In Ashwaubenon, Laura Smith, Fox 11 News.